Good day, everyone. I was invited by the Sangguniang Panlongsod of uh, General Santo City, no? the PBU Sangguniyan, headed by uh, my very good friend, uh, City Vice Mayor Attorney Loreto Acharon, presiding. So the uh, SP of Jensen invited me to make a presentation on how to solve the housing crisis so this applies not only in the city of Jensen but to the entire country as well so let's listen to the my presentation as well as the interpretations by members of the SP of Jensen President my dear colleagues of the 19th uh, Sangguniyan Panglungsod, our employees and staff, our um, virtual attendees, uh, Engineer uh, Nael Joseph Cruzpero of the City Planning and Development Office, Mama Mary Ann Fan Batar of the City Housing and Land Management Office, from the City Engineer's Office, um, our newly confirmed uh, Engineer Emerald Signar, also some of my um, invitees uh, who are with us uh, virtually, Attorney Vladimir Ayan Madramente, Mr. Ralph Klepp of the Energisto Philippines Renewable Energy Development Corporation, as well as the new president of the Notre Dame Marvel University, our very own brother Paterno Corpus, our media friends, to all, good morning and magandang Jensen. I took the floor on the matter to speak on a social issue that very close to my heart concerning 6.5 million Filipino families. The issue of the acquisition of a decent and safe shelter. This has remained as one of the most daunting tasks for many of the minimum to low wage earners income population to achieve. Most of them occupy unsafe, overcrowded slum settlements where access to safe water and good sanitation are compromised. Given the haste at which the urbanization continues to spread to many cities and municipalities all over the country, the magnitude of this problem may be bigger than expected. For many years, our government has provided possible solution to address this major problem through housing subsidies, either in the form of low-cost subsidized housing units or as rental ceilings on housing units. Despite this, however, homelessness, unauthorized housing, and lack of decent housing remain. For um, the information of um, the many, currently there are 6.5 million families that uh, are homeless. And in our city alone, according to the city shelter plan for 2019 to 2027, 65,224 65, households re remain um, homeless. And so hopefully this availment of privilege hour can help provide some answers in shaping more meaningful and effective policies and legislation on the provision of shelters to the country's poor. And so today, we have with us our resource person, who is a graduate of uh, my alma mater, the University of the Philippines College of Law. He's also, ayun pala tita yung nakalimutan ko. My speaker, I think, is one of your favorite students ever, or if not, your favorite student. Because I was telling uh, Tita Lulu that uh, there's really something that uh, I really wanted to tell her. <laughs> yes. With legal practice spanning already 30 years, he is only one of the less than five lawyers in the Philippines who specialize in urban planning and real estate consulting. During his early practice in General Santos City, he was a lecturer at the MSU College of Law in support of its five hec batches and a law reviewer for accounting graduates at the NDDU. A son of public school teachers, 
He was a product himself of the public schools of Jensan, notably the Janga South Elementary School and Mindanao State University, where he both graduated as class valedictorian, as told to us by Councillor Lulu Casabuena. As a real estate expert, he was a top notcher in the real estate consultancy and appraiser board exams, and currently an online professor in real estate management at the Trinity University of Asia. He is a lecturer in all real estate topics and lectured in hundreds of seminars all over the Philippines, which produced hundreds of board top notchers. As part of his advocacy to popularize the law, he anchors every Sunday for more than 10 years the program Dura Lex Ed Lex at Bomboradio Jensan. Thank you, by the way, for my interview last week which provides free legal advice and education to the poor and marginalized in the South Central Mindanao regions. Our speaker served as the national president last 2018 of the Philippine Association of Real Estate Boards Incorporated, or PAREB, the country's oldest and largest association of licensed real estate professionals. Presently serving as the national president of the Philippine Association of Realty Consultants and Specialists Incorporated, or PARCs, the country's foremost grouping of licensed real estate consultants and specialists. As part of this morning's short presentation, our speaker has extensively studied, discussed, and argued why the current policies and legislation in the Philippines failed to address the housing backlog, which is now exploding into a housing crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us today, via virtual, our resource person, my good friend, Attorney Ray D. Cartojano. I move for the suspension of the House rules. May good luck to the members of the Council. Suspend the rules. Can I have a Can I speak in vernacular back? Para... Okay, then, so uh, I would like to uh, appreciate the invitation of Attorney Jude Lagari no? uh, for this morning session as well as the Vice Mayor no, who sent a formal invitation. So I'm given 15 minutes lang, hindi na kumagpa, no? I will not uh, uh, prolong no, your agony. I have 15 slides. A very short presentation that will trigger a lot of discussion, hopefully also to give you some ideas on uh, areas in legislation in which the local SP no, can uh, consider it. Uh, housing crisis. In fact, uh, 
the housing prices has uh, increased no, during the term of the current administration. We have some other alarming statistics. By next year, uh, our, we have around 7 million no, homeless Filipino families. Then uh, out of that, around 2 million are informal settlers with around uh, one fourth of the informal sector families situated in the national capital region. So, if we consider the targets uh, that are being set in Ambition 2040, that by uh, that 80 years from now, no, each Filipino family may be considered middle class with a home that they will call their, their own. So, basically, uh, that's, that's too close. No? Uh, we're 2021. Next year is 2022, and yet we are not solving the, uh, the housing problem that the country is presently experiencing. Now, uh, uh, what happened to that House resolution filed uh, by Congressman uh, Binitek? Uh, there were three resolutions no, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, resolution have targeted. First is declaration of housing crisis. We have the executive uh, department also recognizing that we have a housing crisis. And uh, second is for the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development to undertake inventory of ideal government plans. So, unfortunately, this uh, action has been moving for so many years since we have not established the inventory. You can trace the history of uh, housing backlog for more than 20 years. Government has failed you know, to make inventory of uh, government ideal land. Then finally, uh, the resolution wanted to develop a framework for a dynamic housing finance system to encourage private sector participation. So fast forward tayo, are these uh, the right remedies no, that uh, our Congress should uh, proceed, no, considering the current crisis? So what Congress did was to approve a measure. Uh, it's a house bill granting rental subsidy. So the, the strategy of Congress uh, government is to provide rental subsidy for uh, 3,500 monthly for qualified ISS, the informal settlers. So it is the solution to our, to our housing crisis. So I believe the, the answer to my uh, last three slides no, this morning. So why are we in housing crisis? So we have studied all the issues involving uh, housing laws, regulations in the country, and uh, we summarize, no? uh, for my part, I summarize more or less uh, five areas why uh, our housing uh, uh, is in distress. First, because our laws and policies are tailored to the needs of the middle class, for the so-called formal housing. So, the mga developers, natin, no? the big developers, also, they have balanced housing as part of the requirements for property development. These are really uh, targeting the formal housing sector. The huge informal housing sector, which accounts for half of the uh, country's uh, population, no? uh, more or less, is not being addressed. Second, this one, no? even, even uh, the latest uh, resolution from, from Congress fails to See this, no? uh, we have a lot of studies, feasibility uh, studies, uh, discussions. The problem of housing is about affordability. We need to discuss this with, uh, with, our, uh, with Marianne Bakar, no? our city housing uh, officer, and it shows no, that there's really a, a trend, and there's a possibility that we cannot solve the housing problem if we don't address the issue of affordability. Uh, the present housing issue is, uh, is focused on recovery, no? more on recovery of investment, not on addressing the problem of uh, housing crisis. Third is housing uh, regulators or leg uh, legislators fail to consider housing as human settlement. So basically, a treatment of mga ano to yung mga uh, legislators natin, policy makers, uh, especially before the passage of the Department of uh, Human Settlement and Urban Development to treat housing more up as a physical solution. Pang apat, uh, yung, yung direct investment to private sector no, in balanced housing fails no, really to address 
the housing needs of the poorest of the poor. So yung parang housing ako rin sa failure. Tingnan mo yung uh, provisions ng UDHA, uh, hindi talaga gumawa ng ano to, ng uh, dent or headway in solving that problem issues. Then, ang lima, yung uh, conceptualization, no? yung, yung uh, categorization, that uh, housing for the poor should be government-led. Our present uh, legislation and uh, laws consider uh, yung housing as more of private sector uh, through the balanced housing uh, laws and regulations. So dapat now is the time to consider housing for the poor as government-led. No? All solutions should be uh, from the standpoint of government. Now let us, uh, I'll focus on uh, ano to, yung affordability. No? So based on yung, uh, ano to, yung figures from the Philippine Statistics Authority, you have yung uh, from uh, 10 decimals, no? uh, first, second, third, fourth, kung makita niyo yung presentation natin, yung average uh, savings sa mga pamilya natin sobrang liit. No? Uh, yung first, wala talagang savings. No? The second, if you see na po ang ano to, yung uh, presentation, hanggang dito sa fifth, sa pati. Uh, very limited yung option nila. No? If, if our target is just to uh, for government uh, agencies to provide yung pinatawag nating mga housing no, based on yung socialist housing, it doesn't really solve the problem. Because the problem is affordability. Hindi talaga kaya no, ng mga, ato, yung mga kababayan natin. Uh, this is yung statistics no, given by the Philippine Statistics Authority, government figures. So even yung, ano to, yung loan, no, tingnan natin first, second, third, fourth, fifth, na design, Yung, uh, yung, uh, yung loan na ma-generate nila is not even enough no, to provide them with decent housing. Because yung pinakamaliit, you have almost 100,000, so that's not enough no, for uh, the housing needs of a family. So this is from government na kuhan, so government data. No? So what we're, what we're seeing here yung affordability issue yung ina-address. No? Because yung mga agencies ng government, uh, yung mga housing agencies, for example, the PAGDB, Yung socialized, even the Socialized Housing Finance Corporation, the National Housing Authority, although they're, they're really for housing for the poor, they're more on yung recovery also. No? Important na may recovery sa government, may recovery sa mga developers. So kung ganun yung setup, we cannot really ano to, provide housing for ano to, yung, uh, based on this uh, presentation, the first up to the fifth no? yung uh, desire. No? This accounts for almost 50% of the housing background. The uh, reason is because yung pressure, the, the housing the, the housing ceiling has, has increased, no? has increased all these years. Mas complicated pagdating ng 2018 because from year 2000, you have 180,000 yung ceiling. Now is the, the the ceiling is 480,000. And most developers, they are targeting this market, the upper market. The lower market, they're ignoring it because of profitability. And that is understandable. Negotiating housing, our developers will not uh, send them into these areas because una, malik yung market, so much regulation, difficult yung, ano, so yung uh, recovery. So they're focusing on uh, the higher end of social life, uh, more on economic than open housing. So you, you, you're wondering, no, despite the pandemic, our housing sector now is very ano, so big. No? And then pan yung bentara, because this caters to the requirements of the middle and the upper classes. Eh, yung mga condominium, okay pa rin, yung market, no? you go to the urban area, okay pa rin sila, no? uh, we still have growth, uh, even, uh, even with the present pandemic. Ang hindi nakikita yung uh, lower segment. So it's not being addressed at all. Now, uh, you, you go dito sa kwa, no? you go what happens, uh, just one just lang, uh, you can find instances where despite low monetization, government programs on housing uh, is failing because of yung severe affordability issues. You have units, uh, programs uh, being being, ano to, being uh, bankrolled or established by the National Housing Authority. Uh, mga units being constructed but they are unoccupied. So, as of 2017, we have 197,000 socialized 
housing units that are unoccupied. Imagine you waste the government resources building this housing unit, then almost uh, uh, 130,000 are being uh, uh, unoccupied. The reason is because yung mga resident, resident areas, no, yung mga areas na nilagay, yung mga ano, so housing beneficiaries na natin, did not really provide yung mga necessary elements of human settlement. So ang ginagawa ng government is just uh, house them in some medyo off-city na area, ayaw din naman tumira ng mga beneficiaries. So we have uh, wasted to so government resources in socialized housing. Hindi naman din nila ma-afford. So why will they stay there? Hindi nila ma-afford, wala namang employment, opportunities. So in, in, in that sense, no? um, wala din serious, honest to goodness, uh, na, ano to, na parang uh, siguro uh, evaluation. Bakit man na uh, nandiyan, ganyan yung nangyari. But uh, it's simple. No? Uh, the lower most, 25% or 30% of Pinoy cannot really afford housing no, as being presented by even this uh, National Housing Authority at saka yung Socialized Housing Finance Corporation. Now let's go, let's go briefly dito sa uh, so, uh, shelter plan ng CP, no? uh, more constructive na ano sa evaluation. So if you if you can see the same din yung factor dito sa CP natin, affordability. Now you have yung six na mga income groups na ginawa na ano to, CP housing natin, it's really a lot of all na ano to, yung uh, uh, data. Wala dyan, yung uh, based on based on yung ano to, yung provision for housing, no? uh, they made an uh, estimate na yung ma-allocate ma ma yung mga ano to, residents natin for housing, we have almost ano to, 50,000 no? homeless families in the city. Based on statistics no? by ano to, yung, uh, our city housing, yung lowest na uh, six group, ang ma-provide nila for housing is only 280,000 uh, pesos. So, uh, then yung up to fifth, third, at saka fourth, no? up, uh, yung second at saka, first at saka second, is accounts already for more than 50%. No? Yung poorest of the poor, almost 25, uh, uh, this is more than 30,000 uh, families in Jensen who are homeless. No? So, although target ng uh, shelter plan natin, kung nangin yung mga uh, staying in ano to, yung mga hazardous, dangerous areas, uh, that, that is a good strategy, but uh, small dent din yun, no? considering yung total na backlog natin sa city, based on our statistics, almost 50,000. So, ganoon din yung issue, affordability. No? Our people cannot afford housing from the traditional standpoint that our present laws and legislation are on our crafted. So, uh, if you if you check dito, yung, yung loan lang ng pinaka, ano to, yung pinaka Lowest na 6 uh, group natin ay 60,000. Uh, so, pwede naman buhay ko po yan, but that, that, will not, uh, not, that will not suffice if we uh, consider uh, not only housing, but livability at saka human settlement. Okay, so quickly lang, uh, ito na yung solution. Ano, ikita ko, those were just yung preliminary. So, in the last three slides, these are the solutions that I consider uh, that will really solve the housing crisis in the Philippines. First is yung we create government-owned mass human settlement sites or townships. No, so uh, the housing crisis cannot be solved by piecemeal approach. No, kayo ka ng ganong malik na subdivision from one area. Uh, the backlog is so large that the solution should be uh, a dramatic, no, a large-scale solution. So, so we're thinking of yung tinatawag na government-owned mass human settlement site. So take note that instead of housing, we use human settlement because that is the third no, used by urban planners. So to that, uh, uh, it, it will help if we have a national land use act. No, this, this has been pending in Congress for more than 20 years or kahit man lang sa local natin update our local comprehensive land use plan. The housing crisis cannot be solved by piecemeal approaches and transitory subsidies. So I disagree with yung, ano to, yung approach ng Congreso natin, subsidy, subsidy. Pwede yun, transition lang, but that will not really solve the housing problem. Now yung pinatawag natin MHS, no, yung uh, mass human settlement sites, will be provided with extension facilities, like public schools, no, at least up to the senior high school level. Sa so, Jensen, ang inventory ng uh, city housing natin almost, we need 500 hectares. 
of uh, who sold this housing crisis. So, mas maganda sana if we have uh, we, 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 we create a site no? or a township or mini township doon lahat yung ano to yung uh, human settlement natin doon na focus no? uh, yung mga settlement program natin. Second, ang tanong pa lagi saan ka mag-usap ang buwan ng pera? No? Yan yung palagi, yung palagi question eh. Na it's a system, the problem is not solvable. Now, we have yung green law. Yung green law natin, uh, last year, uh, we collected almost 2.5 million sa green law. Anong purpose ng green law? Uh, to help those who have used this program, that's 70%, and 30% social services. If we just align, no, uh, 10 to 20% of our collections of green law, that's a significant already. Because in, in, in a year's time, we can... Uh, you can align no yung uh, housing uh, housing ano to uh, with, uh, ano to housing budget siguro around 200 to 400 billion for mass human settlement so that, that can easily be done no by uh, you don't need to uh, create a new budget for housing we just align no because anyway green law is for infrastructure so it's high time also for government to consider yung yung post-pandemic recovery program natin uh, should be siguro very important that it should be housing led na nagawa naman yan sa mga depression area uh, era na government uh, spent so much on infrastructure so now is the time to consider housing as also the infrastructure investment and uh, what, one thing good about housing is it's multiplied effect uh, 10 times more or less so if we invest 200 to 400 million in uh, mass housing or mass human settlement that translates to 2 to 4 trillion annually uh, ano to, sa national economy. Third is create uh, 6 to 12 years a roadmap. So this cannot be solved in a short period of time. So we have alignment of uh, young funding uh, in order uh, also for our private uh, contractors to build their capacity. Now assuming in, uh, in 10 years time, uh, tumaas na yung uh, backlog natin from 7 million to 10 million, uh, two to three years, no? or uh, I think two years should be allocated for acquisition of mass, uh, mass human settlement sites and preparation of localized feasibility studies. We need more ano, so conceptualization sa housing program natin. No? We need more feasibility studies. So even sa mga infrastructure, feasibility studies yan. No? To, to analyze whether or not all the issues on human settlement are being addressed. Uh, a 10, uh, 10 year roadmap will entail 1 million houses per year. So, tanong natin, uh, is that doable? Okay, so, I think it's doable, no? Pangapat, yung housing developers natin, yung compliance nila should be, yung compliance na sa balance housing act, no? Uh, 15%, ngayon, should be within the mass human settlement site. So, for example, this is again, sir, may area na identify. For example, 500 hectares for mass human settlement sites natin, and do lahat yung compliance na it could, it could not be in any uh, other area. But then, of course, the compliance can be, kung wala mas yung legislation, it can be the, in the form of a local ordinance, no? Uh, dapat yung compliance na should cater specifically to informal at saka semi-formal sectors. Hindi pwede yung mga yung ginagawa nila na, na more or less formal sector. Dapat doon talaga sa poorest of the poor. Then recovery of developers no, that can be addressed through housing agencies uh, through NHA or the Socialized Housing Finance Corporation. So with yung alignment natin ng pera from ano, the green law that can easily be paid. Pa, no? so, to address the issue of affordability, yung award natin, is that, uh, yung award natin will be based on use of prop or long-term lease. So we, we change the paradigm. So instead of yung disease nila, use lang. No? use ng unit up to 99 years. Okay? Government investment in uh, mass human settlement size is recoverable long term. So para hindi naman tumarabas na doon out, it, it, it should be recoverable, but at least in the meantime, we provide decent housing, we improve yung health ng mga residents natin, and also, no, uh, that will also bearing doon sa yung livability ng community natin. No? We also address peace and order issues. Then, uh, pang-anin, yung management sa mga uh, mass human, human settlement sites natin, uh, of course, better na it should be private sector. No? But private sector naman na walang, walang experience is that also good. So, we're, we're proposing na dapat yung nag-manage ito would be, would be yung mga well-established na multi-purpose cooperatives. So, why cooperatives? No? Because they also address issues on 
livelihood, credit extension, rental collections. So, yung mga housing awardees, they will become automatic members of co uh, the co-op. Then yung LGU natin, together with the Department of Human Settlement and Urban Development, will be given oversight functions on the management of yung uh, mass human settlement site. So, ito yung uh, awardees natin, uh, pwede natin i-align with the uh, with the plan of our city, in shelter plan natin, priority yung those living in hazardous areas. Yung pangalawa, those also identified na under the DSWD natin, no? Under existing poverty alleviation program, such as yung four piece natin. So yung housing award din natin, no, we're thinking that they are, they are required, no? As part of the award, to comply with certain social obligations under aligned with four, uh, four piece, like education of children, undertaking uh, not to commit criminal activities. Now, kasi kung na-violate nila yan, the award will be forfeited. So that will also address yung peace and order issues. So, also, parang hindi naman 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 sa token, then award is required to provide sweat equity, no? Sort of yung parang habitat na format. Then, of course, the priority in employment in the construction activities in the MHS na site. Uh, Pangwalo, yung ano to, yung uh, the agencies, these are uh, recommended agencies, the Department of Human Settlement, the DPWA, and the LGUs. They will be the lead agencies in the acquisition and construction of the site. Pang uh, Siam, private builders are required to use cheap, resilient, and sustainable modular construction materials. So this will address the past deployment of houses. Because the record na ano to, yung isang award meeting na yung bamboo houses, no, yung modular, in four hours pwede ka na magtayo ng bahay. Maganda pa siya. No? And they are, they are really cheap. Also, yung may mga RNG yung habitat natin no? using yung mga sustainable material. So they can build a, a single house in half a day. So more or less, kung ganun yung approach natin, no? we, we, ano to, we uh, give uh, private contractor the time to build yung capacity nila for two years. Yung award natin uh, na we have sufficient funding for, for housing. Uh, coming from our ano to, yung plain law natin, so we're confident, no? Uh, kahit man lang 50% di can solve yung housing backlog, significantly reduce yung backlog that is already an achievement. But better we target na in a span of 10 to 12 years to totally solve yung problem issue. And mo most importantly, because we're pandemic, no? sabihin so, ng pandemic, maraming mga requirements of CD, better, no? Na, as a pump priming na uh, economic activity, dapat yung recovery natin should be housing then. So with that, siguro, uh, 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 gentlemen and ladies no, of the SP, I hope, uh, na to, I hope uh, I trigger a lot of your imagination in solving uh, the housing uh, backlog in the country. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Ngay. Uh, yeah, thank you, Thank you, our uh, very knowledgeable and uh, speaker for sharing on uh, your idea. I have uh, many comments on the subject that uh, I'll give way to my colleagues here. The other one is uh, 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 Thank you, Mr. Um, President. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, uh, Yes, 
Kasinda naman si Cube Vanilla eh, no? Yung ano to, yung prototype na housing. So, kasi kasi dito, we have a lot of land uh, kagawad eh, no? Medyo uh, malaki pa yung area. Baka that would also attract yung ano to, yung uh, for them to relocate. But uh, uh, straight answer to the question, pwede pa, uh, possible yun, no? Ang, ang issue lang dyan, yung costing. So, nag-hubble tayo ng costing because yung assumption kasi natin dito is uh, not more than 200,000 per housing unit. No? So, we have, we have more creative builders na yun. Uh, kaya nilang deliver. Ngayon pa kayo, so, yung sa Pugo, uh, 100,000 uh, lang. Tagawan, no? 200,000, may bahay ka na. Sobrang ganda pa compared with our housing unit na ino-offer ng mga developers. Uh, uh, give and take siya, no? but I agree with you, yung limited, ang, 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 we go for ano to, yung condo na concept kung in city, no? malapit sa uh, center, center because mahal yung lupa eh. Because yung formula kasi natin, it should be government who should be uh, acquiring this ano to, yung land. So we go to center na area, for example, uh, one to two hectares, we go to that model. Now we go to that model na ano to, yung uh, initial single uh, detached. Um, uh, type of condo, no? So kaya pinagtawanan yung ano to, yung concept na oh, magtayo ka ng condominium for mga squatters, actually it should be informal sector, that is really doable. No? Ang other saying is dapat uh, government should be taking the lead. Uh, in, uh, into this uh, direction. Pwede siya, no? Pwede siya. Kung, kung in city, yung dual service that nato, palibot sa city because we're considering employment, uh, dual sa mga iskulahan, uh, that should be the approach. No? Uh, dapat hindi siya single one, single detached. So that we can maximize yung, ano to, yung number of units. Okay. Thank you for that. Kasi kung kagawan is more of one eh, or of parang uh, site na siya, township, nandun na lahat. No? Nandun na lahat, para yung mga iba, they want to stay there because may iskalahan, no? may mga support facilities. Uh, ano to, pagkatapos, uh, may livelihood din na binibigay ng ano to, yung uh, multi-purpose na cooperative that should manage the ano to, yung uh, human settlement site. Yes, the president,
unahan natin creating some uh, ano to headway then other LGUs will, will follow and who knows no? the national will follow uh, will follow it's right time right, right, because yan is time to organize we need better ano to better solutions for uh, housing uh, crisis natin Mr. Chair Thank you. 
dapat uh, eventually people would, would like to stay uh, into that uh, ano to, into that area so ganun yung uh, thinking ko na approach na medyo sustainable siya long term na approach rather than spending so much on sa ito to yung mga lupa na very expensive I think na experience na sa niba niya na ni Mary Ann Bakar no? very expensive why don't we go into some areas na medyo malapit na pit we provide some transportation no? so yung mga support facilities Gawin uh, natin yung site yun for, ano to, for mass housing. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Hey, uh, good morning, uh, sir. My officer is Alex Sogo. I'm going to follow up to say that. Uh, I... I think I impressed on the presentation of the uh, good guest, Mr. Ricardo Tumano, uh, in regards to addressing the members' uh, housing uh, crisis that uh, General Sarkozy is facing. We stated a while ago, we did uh, 50,000 uh, houses to be sold in the uh, comments of the hour for what centers. And uh, mass housing, uh, and this mass housing. MHS, Mass Housing Development, Human Development, Mass Housing 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 Development, Mass we do need to that only. But uh, I would like to inform you, August Bunny, that under our charter law, uh, it's very specific. It's very that all lands uh, owned by the national government is already ceased to be a local government. And we need pass <coughs> this uh, council pass resolution that uh, no titles will be granted unless there is a concurrence by the San Diego. Um, In reference to that, there are, uh, there are I, joined up, I joined the statement of Honorable Donia uh, that we have uh, several uh, tax of lands that, uh, that have been idle and some other some lands also uh, to this day in Ibana that are idle and that are running for Iban. And another issue also is the payment of our, uh, of our IB brothers uh, to cover tax of land under calculate or calculate law. But your calculate cal uh, or calculate titles cannot be registered under the registry of deeds without the concurrence of, of the uh, of the assembly of Hamilton as required. So I believe to address and to address this uh, house housing, Tama po yung sabi ni Sir, but rather my professor, that the uh, uh, land or housing projects should not be should not focus purely on the center of city of General Santos, but along the boundaries of city of General Santos. Kasi malapat ng lupa natin may mga kalpikanti dyan. So the moment that they this uh, claimant to go to, uh, to the Santos of Pangosol for their components, then we could uh, go tell them. Or otherwise, it's the government to its uh, political will can claim since uh, not, not the same. We own that property based on our charter law. So it's a matter of uh, negotiation between uh, the city government and that of the and that of the uh, the claimant. Now, as for expropriation proceedings, there are also limitations to expropriation proceedings. And there are uh, certain procedures that the city government should have uh, should have done before uh, the expropriation proceedings would be valid. As it will entail millions of pesos in the copper city of General Santos. I would rather suggest this among your pounds of the film. First, you can clean nothing of 400 plus uh, hectares that uh, in a subbing of Madame Rosalina. Yes, we pursued that in our uh, judicial proceeding. But at least, Makuwa Nabil, second. May mga suhan pa tayo dito na under sa uh, what they call this. Uh, what kind of system is that? Uh, you are right now, I mean, the national government. 
that, that, that is the actualist contract. It has to be explanation. It, 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 it's the job of the city legal officer. But at least we could uh, address this matter of scene. Now, another one, you contact the Cadena, the asset we did a while ago. Maybe there will be a committee under the LGU or there will be an office that will focus purely on this matter to identify those properties that are being claimed by our IT brothers uh, pertaining to the practices of county and county. Then we could uh, negotiate with them so that the balance is able to them and not in the So no need to pay for the land. Kailangan na natin pera para patayuan ng bakay. Paano ba po, sir? I, I really appreciate the view of this rock. Kasi uh, marami, na, marami na yung housing project dito sa Jan, sir, binibigyan natin yung titulo ng lupa. Or after one year, hindi na benta. Kung receive it to kanilang lupa. Not understanding that there is a prohibition, uh, there is a prohibition under the title, stated in the title. Prior to the expiration of 10 years period to convey that the particular land by way of sale or by whatever, whatever, uh, what, what do you call this, whatever convey, conveyance has accepted the, uh, to the successor of the interest or to the years, it is not that they are 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 in Yusufra, or student, no? case, As my student they cannot sell it because the ownership is in the government. And there are some provisions underlying their proof that any violation of the Yusufra, they can be uh, subjected to taxation. Uh, they can be, uh, they can be uh, uh, generated policy because the Yusufra is a contract. It is a, it's binding between the parties unless the contract is not illegal, contrary to laws, morals, etc. So, very good suggestion, sir. I, uh, I really appreciate it. And maybe the Sagunya Pangusun on this uh, August party will focus and urge the local government unit to identify those uh, properties under the factionist agreement with the national government or DNR and those uh, properties subject to culture and culture on process under the NCIT law. So that uh, we could uh, have a difference to uh, negotiate uh, with these uh, agreements and uh, let me Mr. Chair. As comment about the rate, I'm going to focus on the Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, are we going to try to get that? I don't think that's Mr. Chair. Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. I would like to have a reaction to the problem of the professor, whether my object is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, Mr. Chair, but I want the reaction of the uh, yeah, you you need to be presiding officer in another. Yes, Dr. Lee, uh, am I recognized now, Mr. Chair? Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to know your statement you made to go with the human. These are details now, no? details na aligned with the general uh, directions. So that's, that's, that's also very good na to yung uh, suggestion on inventory, yung mga available na land, uh, maximizing yung resources ng city, baka hindi naman kailangan bumili. No? These are areas that we can negotiate. Yung mga, ano to, yung mga IPRA, ay yung land covered by IPRA, that could be ideal target kasi malapit na siya eh. No? Malapit na sa city. May exception din naman uh, if the city meets yung mga lupa na to, uh, yung restriction can be ano to, can be modified. Na as long as go for government uh, purposes. So medyo malapit na sa area, no? hindi naman siya no boundary ng, ng city. These are ideal uh, area, no rather than subject to speculation yan. Kasi what is happening kasi dyan, Mr. Chair, no? just sa area na yan, despite the restriction, 
the award is not telling the land. No? Binibenta nila so that we teach yung purpose ng Ipralo. So may pasure the city take, take a whole set of portion lang dyan for mass housing uh, requirement. Kasi yun yung ginagawa yung mga award is niya, they're, they're sure kung benti, no? yung uh, Ipralo. So I agree with that talk, agawad yung uh, no? more, more ano to siguro uh, uh, finishing na lang, no? ayusin na lang ang guitar. Uh, resources available to the city, at least yung city can contribute yung, yung land. Yung mga developers, doon na kagad na ikuhan, doon na kagad na ibukos yung mga ano to, balance housing nila. Hindi na sa maghanap ng area. Because uh, city can pass a whole uh, an ordinance. Na lahat ng mga developers, lahat ng mga socialized components nila, doon nila ipasok. No? Sa ano to. No other area, doon na ipasok. Doon sa area na declared as mass human settlement site ng ng city. Tulad na silang i-city, no? Na maghanap ng other area. Doon na silang mag-construct. May specifications na yung city na anong klaseng bahay yung construct nila para naman medyo lalapit doon sa affordability na issue. Mr. Chair, can I be asked another? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, non-IP cannot own those, the, the land. So, dapat talaga, 
uh, may uh, use of problem uh, yung uh, pagbibigyan natin para hindi nila maibenta. And if yung, uh, yung uh, awarding is hindi na siya hindi na siya ayaw niya na doon sa area na yun iiwan na yan, i-award na rin yung uh, ng government yung yung land or house from that uh, from that area no so i agree that the matter na for Ricardo Tohano on so many points no at uh, i hope i hope that the next president of the Philippines uh, dapat may ang conviction niya is uh, bigyan ng lupa ng tabla so it's only the present of the for the uh, allocated those the 10 to 20 percent of the train law because if the, the, pre, the next president pag wala sa vision na yan itong housing na ito hindi natin magagamit yung, uh, yung pera na sinasabi ng attorney na ito in which yun ang pinakamabilis at ang pinakamadaling work of fun ito ang project na sinasabi natin I hope na uh, I hope uh, we will succeed on this we have a lot of land I plan we all we have to do is to talk with our brother ISIS, no? Uh, para mag mahiram natin yung property, portion of the property for this purpose. Mr. Chair, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Well, first, uh, I agree with uh, many of the information and details that uh, the uh, 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 and uh, the next year, I will be able to say that uh, more than 100,000 already is going to be the president. And uh, so, based on all the discussions with the Tulsa and uh, and uh, my colleagues here, the president has a kind of point that uh, uh, the introduction of the Tulsa Nanon is saying that uh, there is really some problem with how we deal with uh, how housing or housing in particular, because it should be too much out of that. But uh, I remember with uh, financial guru, Suti uh, Ormai, uh, she said that uh, your house is not the an asset like you would uh, see it as uh, your security, uh, your body, your house. Uh, your, your house is not an asset in the sense that uh, you will uh, try to generate a uh, personal gain after you sell it. So, not like that. No? The house should be, it's not the matter, your real matter. It is in your home. And uh, I recommend that because um, it is so important because two cases I don't think one day to kill the assets that are three big needs of the one goes to the office shelter, the family shelter, so on. And uh, now that you're on the table, we know that uh, if you want to buy 130 assets, it's very difficult to find employment because uh, you're a lawyer who doesn't ask you, what do you do? So if you want to buy a new employment or a new employment office, then uh, it's very difficult to find out. Especially if you, your children, uh, and, uh, so that's why it's more than that and uh, that uh, it's an ordinary for mine. So that's why it's very important to have a decent house here. And uh, so, Mr. Brandt, just to make my comments. So, the who and the how, how do we call this human self that are just such a way that then, uh, Nina, uh, he fragmented the, our company into the first design after the 10th and And, uh, the first design probably after the 5th design. In the, uh, the city of, uh, the LCD Journal of the city, one of the design also our people, uh, according to the income. And so the, the first the board, the first design after the 5th design, um, I have a recommendation to that to that the same program, so they call that here. But uh, they have to 
may presentation. Mas mahaba yung interpolations. Yeah, may excuse Mr. Mr. Bruce Mayor. Thank you very much.